Okay, today we are going to uh, modify the FT3D. We're going to increase the uh, the range in which it transmits. Um, just to clarify, that only use the frequencies, only transmit the frequencies that you are licensed on. Um, obviously, this is an approved ham radio, so this is an amateur radio. Uh, you you might be wondering why I'd want to increase the uh, transmission range. So this radio is going to be used for hiking a lot, and for me, why not have those frequencies available in case of an emergency? So don't transmit where you don't belong. But we're going to give it a give it a go today. Okay, first of all, you'll see this little rubber cap here. We're going to try to pop that off. Hopefully, it comes off easily. And I haven't tried it yet. Okay, popped right off. It's going to be very hard to see. There's a tiny resistor in there. They call it a resistor, but really it's just a, a small bridge between two soldering points. And we have a little pair of tweezers here. And we have a soldering iron. So we're going to heat that up and see how easily it comes out. Put it on my fingertip here just to show you how what the size we're talking about is so it was just bridging two points and there you go it's it is removed so now if we put this all back together it will have the increased transmit range and again this is just uh, something to have standby for an emergency. Um, you're not going to want to transmit on these frequencies normally because it is illegal. One thing I didn't mention at the beginning, you're going to want to save whatever whatever uh, settings you have in here because it's it reset it back to your original 